Are you a leaf or a branch or a trunk or a root? Really, you're the whole tree. So let's play with this wonderful model called Point of Power, a relationship with your soul. This model's been playing with me for 25 years. I love it. And it's just my total joy to be with you today and just share some highlights of this model and how you can change the way that you see yourself. How you can appreciate the parts of you that you might have been in judgment. You might have been critical about because chances are somebody taught you to do that. You see, we're not born being judgmental or critical of ourselves. This cognitive mind, this thing between our ears up here, hears a lot, learns a lot, and repeats a lot. This is wonderful. We need that advantage. It's not very helpful if what we're repeating is judgmental or critical of who you really are. This wonderful tool, this wonderful model of Point of Power came into my life about 25 years ago and I've grown a lot with it and been able to share it around the world. This is coming from the place of recognizing everything is energy, everything is information. There are some universal laws that when we agree to live in these wonderful bodies on this magnificent planet, we agree to movement. Everything is in movement, whether we know it or not. That movement generates change. Change is not always comfortable, but it's the surest sign of life. So, comfortable or not, change is telling you you're alive. This is good news. Especially if you're breathing, this is good news. Know that you're alive. From that aliveness and that change, expansion is going to happen. Space is going to be created. So more movement can take place. So more change can come into your life. You know, depending on your own uniqueness, because there is no one like you. There's no one on this planet like you. See these fingerprints? They belong to this soul mission. Your fingerprints belong to your soul mission. Your purpose, your soul purpose, your life purpose lives within you. It's not out there somebody else's psychic prediction or version or any other form. It's in every one of your trillions of cells because it's energy. It's a vibration that holds you in relationship with the universe that keeps you safe because you are in direct relationship with the universe. That's the primary thing about being alive, is relating. All these trillions of cells are relating every day. This mind doesn't even know that. We don't even know how they're relating. We don't have to. Because there's a universal order in those cells that is relating biochemically, enzymatically, hormonally, energetically, vibrationally. So this compilation of energy that is you has some very special rhythms and the very special way that your uniqueness relates to the world, relates to the universe, relates to the people around you and relates to you 24-7. Whether you're conscious or not, there's an ongoing exchange with you on every level. The more conscious you can be 
of the quality of that exchange. When your thinking greets you with gratitude, when your thinking looks at you with appreciation, when your thinking recognizes, oh my God, you're a wonderful being, your heart is going to sing. You're designed to be appreciated. You're designed to be recognized. You're designed to be joyous. We made up this other stuff. We have this incredible ability with this wonderful mind to create a reality that feels really real. It feels like it manages everything. It feels like it's in charge. That's phenomenal that we could have a part of us that's so magical it can create a reality that convinces us it's real. And in the meantime, the reality of who we are, the reality of the energy being that we are, that is truly in relationship with the universe, the cosmos, with the earth, with all the elements, fire, earth, air, and water, we don't even know what makes that work. We don't have to. And it will work a lot better in all aspects of your life if you see you in gratitude. Then what happens if you're going to see you in gratitude, your heart's going to be a lot happier. And that's going to extend out here into your everyday world. And oh my gosh, things are going to change because you're going to have gratitude. You're going to have gratitude in places before where you had irritation or frustration or resentment, jealousy, guilt. A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff is called pollution. Pollution of your consciousness, pollution of your essence. We've really manifested that beautifully. We've polluted the water. We've polluted the air. We're damaging this home planet. It starts here. It starts here.